Hi, my name is Claire Gildersleeve and I'm the Assistant Director of Visual Arts and Design here at the Brit School. Um, I'm here to talk to you about our Key Stage 4 Visual Arts and Design Strand course um, and we're really excited that you've come to watch this um, talk and that you're interested in our course. So the uh, course you'll be studying if you join us on our Visual Arts and Design Key Stage 4 course is a Level 2 BTEC Tech Award in uh, Art and Design Practice. Uh, that is a course which is filled with lots of different specialities, disciplines. We really explore um, a whole range of things um, and it's a great stepping stone up to our post-16 uh, Visual Arts and Design course as well. So we cover areas such as fine art, so drawing, painting, um, mark making, Making, printmaking, fashion and textiles, um, photography, graphic design, film, everything we can cover really in the two years. The BTEC Tech Award is uh, comprised of two components. So there's a component which is all about generating and refining ideas and developing ideas in art and design, and another one which is based on building skills. So we run all of those things throughout the course. Um, and then the final component is, is an externally set assignment, um, which we sometimes refer to as an exam, but it's not just a one day come in and sit down and that's your one chance thing. It's, a, it's actually an entire project which is about responding to a client brief so we've built all of those skills up to get to you to that point through our previous projects before we get to that externally set assignment so you'll study you'll have lots of different projects multiple themes developing your experience across art and design in all of the disciplines that we can expose you to um, there'll be a wide range of specialisms media and processes for you to explore there'll be contextual references um, in art and design throughout which will really help you to develop the way that you can talk about art and design and engage with it um, and in turn that informed your own practice we do visits to museums, galleries, and other places of interest that also help to develop those contextual awarenesses. We give you assistance with building an art and design portfolio, and we have lots of live projects. So at least four exhibitions um, across your course um, with lots of other opportunities as well. Uh, we create work that can be sold, um, which is nice, gives you a bit of extra pocket money. Um, community projects, we've done national competitions, and having that five hours a week in Strand just gives you the opportunity to try lots of other things um, aside from the criteria and meeting all of that and passing the qualification. On this slideshow, I'd like to share with you uh, some thoughts from our current um, and departing Key Stage 4 students uh, from the last year. So um, you should be seeing some examples of what they've said about the course now. The facilities that Key Stage 4 students use are the same as the post-16 students. Obviously, we have slightly less time, um, but there's an opportunity for you to cover everything um, in, in the time that we have. So um, you will use the dark room um, for darkroom processing and photograph developing. You will use um, the Mac suite, you'll use the textiles equipment, um, you'll use the print studio, um, and all of those things that we have available um, will be also available to you. Just to elaborate on uh, some of those opportunities that I discussed earlier, we have um, two or three exhibitions a year that students are involved with. Some of those are at school. Um, so we have a whole department exhibition in our OB show. We also have an exhibition which is purely for Key Stage 4 students, which for the past 10 years has happened at Dulwich Picture Gallery, which has been fantastic. This year we've moved it into Somerset House. So we've built a new partnership and our students will be presenting their work which is a wearable art project at the moment um, at Somerset House. So we do lots of sharing of skills, lots of collaboration with other people, but also within the class itself as well. We've been involved in projects such as Little People's Day every year. So students have been working with young people that come in. We've brought parents in as well for year 10 settling in evening. And new for 2020, we are working on a, a student, Key Stage 4 student enterprise initiative. So we're doing projects where students will be making work um, that will be being sold. We have a new 3D printer that we're going to be using for that, laser cutting, screen printing, 
all of those skills that we've taught students before and some new ones thrown in so they can think about how they can make work that will be sold. We'll talk to them about the sort of business side of that, how they market their work, how they sell it. And we will actually be running sort of effectively a small business enterprise with our Key Stage 4 students. Um, lots of you will be interested to know what we look for in a student. What we are looking for is students who are sort of dedicated, passionate, um, have a really strong interest in the subject. We don't expect you to know everything, that's why you're coming here. We need you to show commitment, aptitude for the subject of course, but there is room to develop, so potential um, is massively important. And ambition as well. So. We want students that are willing to come and feel that they don't know everything, but they are happy to try things. Um, we want students who are happy to come in and take risks and to try things and know that they may not work, but we'll find a way together to make things work. And of course, as you're applying for Key Stage 4, we also need to see that you are going to be committed to the entire curriculum as well. And the application process, um, there is a form online. You need to please make sure you only apply for one course. You must fill in your own form yourself. Um, and you need to include a copy of your year eight report. And also do have a look at our department social media as well. So at VAD Brit School, that is on Instagram and Twitter as well. But Instagram, you get a really nice sort of selection of visuals of st our students' work. Thank you for listening to this talk and we look forward to meeting you when you apply.